everybody needs to feel that they're not alone in the world, you know, mm. like you could get into lots of existentialism here, I'm not gonna do that, but you know <laughs> but yeah, you know, but um I mean, uh, it's it's uh, what I, I I'm, and I could get really kind of off track with what it means to me, I suppose, or what it has done for me. But that feeling of that 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 lift that it can give your spirits a good night and the goalie can give your spirits is is amazing. And it would have like a couple of jobs that I really wasn't you know enjoying. It would have been the light at the end of the tunnel on a Friday night, you know. And it has been and. and it would sustain you, you know. Partly, I suppose, because of that. Anthony was talking about that about uh, what makes a good song, what makes a good night, and that. And I suppose for me, it's it's the emotion behind every song. Because if you're not singing, if you're not being true to the emotions of the people who wrote the song, or the person who wrote the song, whoever the person is. Now you have to interpret what you think those emotions were. But I mean, usually, you know, in terms of historical fact, songs aren't great for historical fact because it's quite hard to make historical fact fit meter and rhyme. But, you know, you'll get the essence of whatever conflict or the essence of whatever story is being told will be there, especially if the writer is is good with words. And if the writer is good with words, then the song will will withstand the battering of, of centuries and will still be here for us to sing. Um so when you, I mean, I th actually think it's quite a responsibility if you take on, I'm going to learn a song. Usually, um, I usually learn songs when they grab me by the throat, shake me and sort of say, learn me now. Um, unfortunately, lots of songs do that to me and I don't have enough time. <laughs> but there is a list of songs that I am going to learn. Um, and I think that you have to be very true to the emotion that's in that song. And if you are true to the emotion that's in that song and you manage to communicate that emotion to the people who are who are listening um and i mean it, people will rise to that and that is what that is what it is it's all about communication in the end of the day you know it's all about telling stories um and hearing the stories and feeling the, that that emotion you know it's all it's all about storytelling you know, i've heard people singing songs and i've gone okay how long can, must i wait <laughs> before i can decently ask them for this song yeah. but i suppose um, having dabbled a bit and ri written songs myself, um, it's when someone comes up to you and says, "Can I have that song?" It's a huge compliment, yeah. um, and I'd hand it over. And if you know th that's how personally how I am, that doesn't mean every songwriter is going to be like that. Um, I suppose if I was asking, I know somebody who's learning a song at the moment that I very much want to learn, and when I broach it with them, it'll be on the understanding that I won't be singing it where they would be singing it. Yeah, maybe you know. Um, but people learn songs that other people sing all the time because otherwise, you know, when somebody passes on, um, you'll notice that suddenly, you know, everyone is singing the songs they used to sing in their honour and in their memory as should happen. You know, so it's not like, again, it's not like the song descended upon them in the night. Mm. They've obviously been learning these songs beforehand. The songs are for everybody. Then where you choose to sing it and in the comp what company do you choose to sing it in? That's where the delicacy and the diplomacy mm -hmm. and the rules of the game, if you like, come into it. But, you know, if you only learned songs that nobody else ever sang, there wouldn't be that many, you know. Yeah. The songs that have survived have survived because, because they have, they're, they're that quality. The songs that have survived are quality songs, you know. And they've survived for a particular reason. And the same reasons that make them, that have helped them to survive are the reasons why, you know, a hundred people in a session are going to want to know them. Mm. You know? So I don't see why. Why should you say, no, that one's only for you? That's not right. It's yeah. not fair. It's not democratic. <laughs> yeah. You know? Whether you choose to sing it in front of somebody, that's where your sense of diplomacy might come yeah. into it. And anyway, any anyone who's truly comfortable with their with their singing, anyone who's who's kind of kind of not not confident exactly, but anyone who understands what this is about is not going to be offended if you rob their song. Because it's not theirs and you're not robbing it.
you know. But yeah, I mean, am I going to go and sing something I know someone has spent three months learning and the next week I come in and sing it? No, I'm not going to do that because I know what those three months cost them because I've done it myself. Mm. I might sing it in a different place down the road with a different audience. I think the people who don't get it don't hang around. Yeah. Because why would you do it if you didn't get it? Yeah. You, it, it doesn't make any sense to go through that if you don't get it. Um, and I was talking to my 17-year-old niece who sings as well in a different idiom and she's getting singing lessons and I don't think she's actually found her idiom yet, if you like. Um, but I sort of mentioned that to her about a song, kind of, you know, grabbing you by the throat and shaking you and going, learn me now. And she just starts laughing. She goes, yeah, exactly. So it works. Anyone who sings, mm -hmm. sings because that happens to them. Um, it's not that I love to sing, it's that I have to sing. Yeah. Um, you know, and I remember being so kind of sad at one point in my life, I couldn't sing for about a year and I, you know, and I knew I was beginning to recover when I began to be able to sing again, you know, so it, it's very tight. I mean, I don't understand. Maybe some people can sing without emotion, but I, I, I don't know yeah, if I, you know, imagine. yeah, it is hard to imagine. And I suppose I do what I do the way I do it because of who I am. So I suppose somebody who's very different to me would have completely different motivations or whatever. But most of the people I think in the Goalene who come and stay do, do kind of in some way feel that sense of the emotion that's involved, you know. I, 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 and I think people who come and go don't and that's why they don't because they don't get it, you know.